BAM! Uh, I actually hit my chin on the way into that intro. It was worth it though. Hey guys, it's me Mocha and it's Christmas and I got this a day early because my auntie said yes and she's amazing. So uh, I, I guess we'll be checking it out today. First of all, when opening it, um, you come to this abomination and it's, it's kind of terrifying and it's a demonic Mario toy Lego, I guess. I mean, he can stare into your soul for all he wants. It's kind of creepy. It's still creepy no matter what. If this thing started talking at night, I'd throw it out the window. But when you put it together, it looks way less creepy. And actually, I have already opened this and built this, so this is just me doing it for the content. Well, he, while he looks more complete, and I give him through 360s, he still looks cursed with the no eyes and no mouth. Actually, I might get away with the mouse, but still, it's creepy. And here's the overview, or the nice shot of what I built on our Lego table. We had a Lego table before this, and I say, yeah, this is pretty good. And then I realize, there's no paper instructions. <laughs> it was terrible. Like, it's, it totally sucked, and uh, I was frustrated. So I had to go on YouTube and find a whole video about it. And it came in this little box, and I was like, oh, that's nice. I could carry him somewhere safely and so i grabbed a marker and uh i decided let's get decorating and there it's a fancy m uh, uh intermission i i needed to put mario in the box but it was taking me like 10 minutes to figure it out so in the meantime you get to stare at a blank void and there fits like a charm 100 percent and he fell out i think it'll be safe to take to school maybe um, this is an overview. I actually built it custom because I didn't like the way they made it with scrawny little paths in between. Put catapult right there with a Goomba on top. And I put a uh, Kid Koopa, or sorry, Bowser Jr. So let's get an overview. You may be wondering, where is the pipe that you started? Well, I accidentally found out when I was building this that you can actually fit the flagpole piece on top of the pipe hidden it's clever and it looks really fancy so let's play through how I intended it well Mario stranded at the beginning and with this nice overview shot you can see there's a spinny thing in the middle that gives you access to all sides so you gotta spin it around oh wait wrong side get on the cloud Mario can get on top of the cloud and then you spin him around to the mountains over here Take him off and he'll jump from mountain to mountain doing some high parkour and crazy. And then he realizes that he has to get back on the cloud. <laughs> and then he has to go over and get to the question block to get his power up. Because he might need that. It, it might be a difficult boss or not. Who knows? Then he realized there's a boss. A uh, kid, uh, Bowser Jr. I did not stumble on that, but you might be wondering, how do I get him down from the tower? That's where this catapult comes in. Um, I don't have exactly the best aim or the best adjusting. I've done it before, but for some reason this time it wasn't working. And uh, that was the last straw, so I just, let's just say he fell over. Bam! And now his shell is exposed. And you know, now that I'm looking at this, this might seem wrong. And then, boom, bam! Dead spooky Mario appears, and you bash him on the shell. Whoop bam! Whoop and whoop bam! Whoop bam! And pow! Shabam! Take that! And stuff. And then you beat him. And he's like, "How do I get back? Where's the goal?" And then he sees it. And he's like, "What the heck?" And you're like, "Okay, um, can you come over here?" And it works. And it gets back inside the pipe where it belongs. So, Mario goes back on the cloud machine again, because it gives all access, and you spin him around. Wrong way. And you spin him around. And now he's at the goal. Simple. You hit the goal sticker, and you win. And that's the end of my first level. If there's more LEGO sets that come in these presents, I'll expand it. But let's hope I hit more subscribers. Thanks for watching the video, if you made it this far. Uh, please subscribe. I actually enjoyed making this, and this content actually was pretty easier to make than my other Switch videos, and I'd enjoy it if you liked and subscribed. 
and also comment. Shout out to Nopo for commenting on my previous videos. You're on fire. Wait, that's a bad thing, isn't it?